Welcome to all on the course of refrigeration and air conditioning. So this is the second part of the chapter 4. In the second part of the chapter 4, the subtopic name is refrigerant condenser <laughs> and its types. In this chapter, in this sub chapter, we will cover the principle of working and the construction detail of air cool condenser, then types of air cool condenser, then principle and construction detail of water cool condenser and types of water cool condenser, heat rejection ratio and last part cooling tower and the spray pump. Today topic is, today in this video we will cover the definition of the condenser, what is the importance of the condenser and air cooled condenser. So let's start from the definition of the condenser or importance of the condenser in the refrigeration system. The condenser is the important device used in the high pressure side of the refrigeration system. Its function to remove the heat of the hot vapor refrigerant and discharge from the compressor. The hot vapor refrigerant consists of heat absorbed by the evaporator and the heat of the compressor added by the mechanical energy of the compressor motor. The heat from the hot vapor refrigerant in the condenser is removed first by transferring to the wall of the condenser tube and then from tubes to the condensing medium or the cooling medium. The cooling medium may be air or the water. So this is about the application, uh, the importance of the condenser. Let's come to the types of condenser. Accordingly, the cooling medium, it is classified in a three types. One is air cool condenser, then water cool condenser, then third type is the evaporative condenser. Accordingly, our syllabus will cover the air condenser and the water cool condenser. Let's start the air cool condenser. In the air cool condenser is the one which remove the heat is done by the air. It consists of steel or the copper tubing through which refrigerant flow. The size of the tube usually range from 6 mm to 8 mm, this size, outside diameter, depending upon the size of the condenser. Generally, the copper tube are used because of its external heat transfer ability. The thermal conductivity is high. But the condenser is the steel tube are used in the ammonia refrigeration system because if you ammonia contact with the copper, the corrosion will be stuck. For that reason, when the refrigerant is ammonia, you are using the steel tubes. And these tubes are, the tubes are usually provided 
with the plate type themes to increase the surface area for the heat transfer. The themes are usually made from the aluminum because of light weight and the space and the space is quite wide to reduce the dust closure. The condenser with single row of tubing provides more efficient of heat transfer. This is because air temperature rises as it passes through the each row of the tubing. The temperature difference between the air and the vapor refrigerant decreases in each row of the tubing and therefore the row becomes less effective. However, the single row of condenser require more space than the multi-row condenser. The single row condenser are usually used in the small capacity of refrigeration system such as domestic refrigerator, freezes or the water cooler or the room air conditioner. The air cooled condenser may have two or more rows of tubing but the condenser with up to six rows of tubing are common. Some condenser have seven to eight rows. However, more than eight rows tubing are not usually more efficient. This is because the air temperature will be too close to the condenser temperature to observe any more heat after passing through the eight rows of tubing. So this is about the air cooled condenser. Then you come to the types of air cooled condenser. There are two types of air cooled condenser. One is natural convection condenser, another is the post convection condenser. Now you observe the two types of air cooled condenser. Generally you are observed in the air cooled condenser. Uh, this is the natural convection and this is the post convection. The air in a, a natural convection you observe here you are not <laughs> forcing the air flow inside uh, in between the fins and here the inlet part of the refrigerant inside the tube and this is the outlet part. Inside inlet it is the vapor as the heat is transferred to the air it is converted to the liquid refrigerant at the outlet but in the post convection you are forcing the air by the help of propeller fan to guide the air you are using the damper So let to know what is the difference between them. The natural convection needs large surface area and it consumes large space. But in the post convection there is a fan or blower is required and it will require less surface area. And here the natural convection the construction is simple as there is no uh, uh, other apparatus is required to flow the air but the post convection it is a complex construction and come to the natural convection here the low cost but in the post convection it is a higher cost because of here a uh, fan is required, damper is required for that region this more cost. So this is about the natural convection and the post convection.
Let's come to the advantage of air cool condenser. The air cool condenser where the water difficult to use and water availability is difficult. In that case, air cool condenser are using it is the advantage. And it is a simple in construction, low initial cost, and the maintenance cost generally very very less. Only you have to remove the dust. There is no chance of corrosion and erosion or algae formation. For that reason, maintenance cost is very very less. And less piping work to do, less chance of flooring, and it is very very easy to clean. But the main disadvantage in the air cooled condenser here have low heat transfer capacity. So in the air cooled condenser, the heat transfer capacity is very very low. And noise operation when you are using the fan, noise will be produced to noise operation while application. And large surface is required. And hot weather condition, it is less effective because atmospheric temperature is also increases. So, for heat transfer, uh, temperature difference is required. For that reason, hot weather condition, it is less effective. And less efficient than the water cool condenser. The air cool condenser cannot be used along with the refrigerant having high complex and compression window. So these are about the air cool condenser. Thank you.